what what could I do about it? I can't do anything about it. That's what people tell me. You know how many times I've heard that? What could I do about it? I can't do anything about it. Really? 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 January 9th, here in Tucson, Arizona. And, uh, gee, you see anything going on here? No, 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 just perfectly natural, normal skies, right? Not. So that's what we got. Geoengineering at its worst. Every day, every way. How they're poisoning us until we are no longer. Take a look at that. Look at that. There's the old cross. They used to use that. Put a cross and then they'd start working for the day. They give them an idea of where the wind was shifting at. See? And they'd take a look at it with, uh, they could usually use like a radar source and see that cross. And then that'll tell them exactly where they need to go from there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so folks, let's talk about this for a minute. Let's talk about this for just a minute, okay? Don't don't switch off this video for just yet. I want to ask you some questions, and they're very important questions, okay? Here's my questions, okay? Why can't we get this stopped? Well, let me tell you. Where are we at with this? How are people uh, aware of this? Tell you something. In my city, Tucson, Arizona, which is just under a million people, I took it upon myself to inform the people of Tucson, Arizona, all about this chemtrails, this geoengineering, this garbage that they're dumping into our sky. Okay? And I'll tell you, it is not, you don't have to be a scientist. You don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to figure out what the hell's going on. It's not that hard. You know damn well that you, you can't be stupid as a rock thinking this stuff in the sky is contrails, ice crystals, water that comes out as water and just expands, gets bigger than day, covers the entire sky, looking like clouds after a while. That's ice crystals? Contrails? <laughs> Okay, you know, it, it takes very little intelligence to figure out that's just a bunch of garbage. It's lies. So I'm going to ask you people, what would it take to get this stopped? Because I started informing people in 2007. Almost 15 years. And what has been done? Nothing. So let me ask you, if this were the number one priority for everyone, how fast would you get this crap stopped? How fast? How fast? Because if it was the number one priority, we would have already got it stopped. But people seem to think that the Cancer Society, yeah, American Cancer Society, that's much more important, bigger, bigger thing than this, yeah? Yeah? American Cancer Society, you think they want the cure to cancer? They've already been given it, folks, again and again and again. They don't want it. It's the last thing they want. They don't want to hear it. Okay? I mean, some people think humane society is more important than this. Because I'll tell you something, folks. If everyone were on the same page, we'd get it, we'd get it ended. How fast do you think we'd get it ended? The same day? Nope. Within an hour? Nope. I'm guessing about 15 minutes max. If it were the most important thing for all people to get the stopping of the spraying of our skies. Because let me tell you folks, you can't avoid it, period. You cannot avoid it. It's in the water, air, food. You're eating it, drinking it, and it's walking right in your skin. Nanoparticulates of metal. 
In case you don't know what's in that spray, that's what it is. We've already done the groundwork. It's done. It's over. We've already tested. We've already looked and then investigated it. Okay, we've done the work. All we need to do now is get it stopped. Fucking a bunch of crazy motherfuckers spraying our skies with powdered metal. So, when is this going to become the most important thing? That's my opinion, it's not, ever. People are too stupid. Because if you're not going to stand up for what it is, some asinine, insanity, crazy motherfuckers are putting into your air, if you're not going to put any effort into getting that stopped, then folks, you're already dead. So, why don't I just shut the fuck up? And you just keep your living life and just let's see how long you last. How long? Not too long. Because they're doing a great job of killing everyone. So just like people have said to me for years, well, if they were doing what you're saying, then we'd be dying. Well, we are. If you ain't figured this out, then you're not real bright. Upper respiratory illness or the cause of death being upper respiratory is how many? Used to be really high on the schedule. Now it's like number two. Number two, causing death for humans. Upper respiratory. Of course, pretty easy to see why that is. So there we go, folks. We're going to get it stopped. My guess is nope, we're not. Because nobody will stand up for their rights. You may watch chemtrail videos even. You may know what's going on. And Oh, I put it on Facebook though. I put it on Twitter. Well, you know what? That ain't enough. It should be the number one priority for each goddamn person out here. But it isn't. And you've shown me that it's never going to be. And it's, it's pretty much worthless even taking all the effort of showing you what's going on here, folks. Because people are already dead. That's my opinion. You gotta be. Because you should, we could have got this done in one hour. One friggin' hour we'd get this over with. Once everyone was on board, but nope. Is it because we haven't shown you proof? No. Nah. Nope, absolutely not. Showed you so much proof, it's unbelievable. It's overwhelming. So it's because you people won't stand up for your fucking rights. And you never will, and that's it. Reporter for Real News Tucson, Chris Haskell. Have a great day.